everyone. I'm back to show you another fun um, tip for Canvas. I have been trying to figure out a way to add Kahoot into Canvas so that kids aren't leaving Canvas. Um, if you want to do this in class in your Zoom meeting, then you can just share your screen and do it that way. But if you want to make it an assignment, here is a way to do it in Canvas. So once you sign up for Kahoot, you'll come here. If you already have a login and you already have Kahoots that you've used before, you can use those or you can search for them. So once you're here in Kahoot, you're going to go to Kahoots. Make sure that you follow these directions um, because if you don't assign it, like I'm about to show you, it doesn't work. So you'll find the one that you want. Um, I'm gonna use the expectations. You come here, hit play, sorry, play over here, and then you will assign it. Create new, and then you wanna pick your due date. So um, whatever you wanna do, I will probably make something like this due on Sunday the 30th. Go here, you can pick your time, and uh, if you want the question timer on, you leave it on. If you want it off, you can turn it off. Um, if you want to nickname generator, you can turn that on, or if you want them to be able to put their own in. And then you hit create, and here you are. Now what you're gonna do is right here, you have this URL. Uh, you will copy this, and then open up a new tab and you're gonna type in iframe generator. Uh, this is the one I use to do this, the iframe dash generator. And then you just come here to the iframe URL, paste that in and then hit generate. And you will copy this then you will go into your canvas. Um, you can do this as an assignment or you can do it as a page. If you want to be able to grade it, then make sure that you do it in assignments or if you want it to be in speed grader. So you go to assignments, add a new assignment, and then I'm gonna name this Kahoot Expectations. Here's where you're gonna wanna put your directions. Um, I realized that when we get to the submission type, um, I, I wanted to do a text entry, so what I'm gonna do is type in the directions here. Um, please input your score at the end and hit submit. And you can let your students know when this happens that you'll be able to see their score in Kahoot. Um, so there's that option. I don't know if that's true, but you can tell them that. And then enter and you will paste the code. And again, submission type, online, text entry. How many attempts do they want? Here you can put in the due date. I would put in the same due date. Save that. And there is your Kahoot. And I did practice this in um, the student view and it works, but they do have to input some sort of text. So that's why I said it would be uh, beneficial for them to input their score. So like I said, please input your score. Um, we did try this with Mentimeter. You can do it with Mentimeter as well, just as long as you're using that iframe generator. Um, Mentimeter would be good for exit tickets. I did think that uh, you could use that as sort of a check-in, um, but maybe put it under pages. You could use it for announcements. And then Kahoot uh, would be something you could do uh, to fill some of that 80 minutes of instructional time. All right, so there's my video. If you have any questions, just put it in the comments on my YouTube. Thank you.